Are you going to the range for the first time? Here's what you need to know. Hi, welcome back to another episode of Conceal Carry Corner. Many of you are going to the range for the first time and there's not a lot of information out there as to what to expect and how you should be prepared. There are various types of shooting ranges. They're typically indoor and outdoor. Here, I'm on an outdoor range. Slightly different styles and setup and procedures, but generally speaking, this is what you need to know. When planning to visit a range, be sure to check the range information on their website, social media, or by calling and contacting them directly. Each shooting range and firearms training institution should have a standard set of procedures and rules and information to inform you, a new user, as to how to get prepared for the range. Short of calling and connecting directly with the range, a few things you can do to prepare yourself will be to review this video and to have a look at some of the points that we're bringing across. While it is said that every range has slightly different policies and procedures with regards to entry, processing, and eventually accessing the shooting range, some of the key things that you should know and should be prepared with is going to be presented now. First and foremost, equipment. When deciding to go to the shooting range, we shouldn't wait until we reach the range to then figure out that we would have needed some equipment. So it's always prudent to prepare in advance and to make sure that you have the necessary PPE, such as the ears, eye protection, and a cap. The appropriate clothing, which includes the footwear and the tops, especially for women and men, understanding the type of vulnerabilities that come from open collared shirts. Equipment is also essential where we think about the carrying cases for the various firearms, holsters, belt magazine equipment, and also carry cases and cleaning equipment. Secondly, we really want to be clear once we have arrived at the range as to our purpose. Check with security, check with the necessary check-in staff, and proceed to follow the necessary safety procedures. Most ranges are gonna operate with cold range rules and require you to clear all firearms and make them safe where, before entering the range. Chamber flags can also be used to flag the firearms that come to the range that are already unloaded. If you come to most ranges and you bring multiple firearms, it is prudent to only walk with one of the firearms loaded, which makes it easier for range staff and yourself once you arrive at the range in particular. Plan your range days. Don't just show up to the range and hope to figure something out there. Try to plan exactly what you're trying to achieve, if it is something new, or you're trying to develop and build memory on existing techniques, skills, drills, or what have you. Always planning what training you are trying to achieve is going to make that experience a lot better. Here's a sample of a waiver of liability and safety information that can be found at most or some ranges. These waivers help you identify and understand more of the safety aspects and the procedures required at each range facility. And the wafer also signs as a way of mitigating liability to the range users by you signifying that you're trained and certified in the use of your particular firearms. If you're new and uncertain, please ask questions as most ranges would have uh, instructor staff or any sort of coaching staff available for the purpose of development of the right safety and basic firearm handling techniques. Shooting ranges are places for persons who are authorized to utilize firearms to train and practice. To avoid any embarrassment or any negative connotations when entering a range facility, be sure to call ahead and find out exactly who can accompany you, especially if they are non-authorized firearm users or simply family members that are accompanying you. Thank you for viewing, and we'll leave some more information for part two. We certainly do hope that this information has assisted you in gaining some insight as to what is required when you're going to the shooting range. Always be sure to check ahead of time on the websites or call ahead and communicate directly with all range members and staff. And let's not forget our COVID-19 regulations. Let's walk with our hand sanitizers, our masks, let's keep our distance, and let's continue to enjoy safe, fun, recreational shooting. Thank you for viewing Conceal Carry Corner, and remember, firearm safety starts with you.